Welcome back to Dragon Age 2. Don't forget to check out the playlist in the upper right side of the YouTube video page. This city is amazing. Do you know I saw someone get mugged? Right outside. It was fascinating. Everything happens here all at once. How does anyone keep it all straight? Someone has jumped outside your door and that's exciting? It must be the Alien Age greeting. Hasn't happened to me yet though. They must not like me. It's so busy here. So many things just get lost. Meryl, you should pray that you never get mugged. Do you miss the Danish? I miss her and Pival stories. The creaking of Aravels in the breeze. The city is so busy and confusing. And the elves here are not like my clan. But I'll get used to Kirkwall in time. The Templars haven't found you, have they? I've been careful. Even among the Dalish, Keepers never work magic in public. And I think the Templars don't even see me. I'm just another elf in the alienage. It lets apostates like my sister escape notice. I'm certainly not complaining. I'd be cut down on the spot if the Templars knew what I was. I'm glad you came by. I needed someone to talk to. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, let's take these guys. And let's go. To Hightown. Enemies Among Us. That's the quest that I'm gonna be doing right here. Well, I don't think I'll be able to complete all of it, but part of it, yeah. That's right, big girl. What of it? I don't remember your name on any registries. Every ship that docks has to declare. I never docked. And you're no port authority. And you are no merchant. Ooh, scrutiny. <laughs> yeah, she's a pirate. Deal with it. Please, can you help me? My brother. Give me the details. Karen was always so devout, so idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order, but he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. What do people say about Knight Commander Meredith? Oh, she has many admirers. They lord at the service she does in keeping the mages in check. But others say she is terribly fierce and utterly without pity that she sees demons everywhere. It is dangerous even to whisper such things. What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend has a cousin who's a mage. And she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. Well, generally mages are made tranquil against their will. If they fail, they are har harrowing. But if they do succeed with their harrowing, then Chantry Law does not allow them to be made tranquil. Stop crying and tell me what you know. Yes, sirrah. Karen would write me every day. Then suddenly, no more letters. I wrote him many times with no response. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. Hmm. I'd be putting myself at risk, possibly crossing the Templars. Why should I do this for you? I have precious little. But if you find my brother, I will manage some way to pay you. Perchance. In your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. Make her bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. Okay, then. Hmm. So, we're going to the gallows. Yep, the gallows have been opened up with this uh, quest. 
It is a main quest. You actually have to do with this one. You have such pretty hair. What a lovely color. Other children used to laugh at me for having ginger hair. Really? Hmm. Oh, I bet you... you were cute. Did you have pigtails? Sometimes. How precious. Little Aveline running around the village with her flaming orange pigtails screaming behind her. And little boys all scattering and screaming for mercy as she approached. Shut up, poor. <laughs> well, I guess that story is accurate, isn't it? talk with them in just a second after I talk with this guy ah welcome my dear friend to Sol's shop my name is Solifitus please take a look around my apologies in advance our shelves are a bit bare at the moment actually if you're interested I could use a bit of help to remedy that get on with it talk all business I like you. It's been too dangerous to leave the city of late, and the substances I require for my creations are, of course, elsewhere. Uh, perhaps you could find them. You'll be compensated for your time, have no fear. I'll also give you first pick of my new creations. Okay. Make up a list of what you need, and I'll keep an eye out for you. Perfect. A discount on everything in the shop, Sirrah. Spiders, silk. Well, I can buy these, but I also want, but I first I want to buy this. this hmm. Okay, let's talk with the Templar recruits. I'll talk with Frask later on. Do you know a recruit named Karen? His sister is looking for him. We cannot speak to you, Messiah. To the void with that. Karen and the others are missing. But our orders... The knights aren't doing anything to find them. Maybe it's time to ask for outside help. I wasn't even certain Karen was missing. Who else is gone? The first ones disappeared weeks ago. There's been at least half a dozen. Wilmot and Karen were the most recent. Why must you keep silent about Karen? You obviously aren't a Templar, Messer. A knight lieutenant gives you an order and you obey, without question. They told us not to breathe a word about Karen and the others. They must have their reasons. And that'll be a great comfort if you go missing next. Hmm. Out with it. I hear that Knight Commander Meredith has some new initiation you have to go through. If you're not strong enough or fervent enough in belief, you don't make it out alive. And you honestly believe that? Recruits keep going missing. Wilmot came back. What? He did. I saw him this morning. What else do you know about the initiation? You hear about some... Uh, questionable things that the Order must do these days. The Knight Commander only wants Templars that can do... what must be done. And trust they alive. She's killing recruits that might question her orders, isn't she? That's rubbish. She wouldn't do that. Hmm. Can you tell me anything else? Wilmud told me he was going outside Kirkwall. Clear his head, he said. Why didn't you tell us this? Knight Captain Cullen ordered it, right before he chased after Wilmud. That wasn't too long ago. If you hurry, you may catch them on the road. Okay then. Let's go. Wilmud's camp. That's either Andraste or Meredith. Oh yes, the reused environments. Okay. Knight Captain Colin, you see. Alright then. Nothing here. Uh, this isn't gonna be an easy fight, is it? Probably gonna regret bringing this party to this fight. Won't I? I can always go back if things prove too difficult. 
Andraste be my witness, Wilmot. I will have the truth from you now! Mercy, sir. Mercy. Were it that easy? Don't hit me! I will know where you're going, and I will know now! Why are you doing this to Wilmot? Answer me. This is Templar business, stranger. <laughs> You have struck me the last time, you pathetic human! To me! Oh great, the shade. Abominations. Make her preserve us. Yep. Yeah, we have a problem, Houston. Oh, great, more of them. Okay, I've killed one. Two, actually. Let's kill a third. Fuck! Thanks, Colin. You're awesome. involved in something sinister but this is it even possible an abomination do you think he was possessed normally we only worry that mages will fall victim to possession I have heard of blood mages or demons in solid form who could summon others into unwilling hosts but I'd not thought one of our own would be susceptible hmm he's dead now let's figure out what happened I am Knight Captain Cullen. I thank you for your assistance. I have been conducting an investigation of some of our recruits who have gone missing. Wilmard was the first to return. I had hoped to confront him quietly, out of sight. If you didn't know he was possessed, why draw your sword on a recruit? He'd only been back a few days when he left again secretly. It set off some warning bells. I meant to scare him into a confession. He had to believe my threats were genuine. Do you know what happened to Wilmot while he was gone? Obviously more than I had anticipated. Wilmot has never been fully convinced of the Order's rules. Majors cannot be our friends. They must always be watched. I thought Wilmot might be meeting with some old friends who'd escaped the Circle. I've got friends who are Majors. Are you saying they need to always be watched as well? I was at the Circle Tower in Ferelden during the Blight. I saw firsthand how Templar's trust and leniency can be rewarded. I still have nightmares of Aldred's depravities. The recruits believed that Meredith was conducting some sort of deadly ritual. What? <laughs> That's preposterous! Recruits can be worse than a weaving circle with their rumors. There is a vigil before Templars take their arms, but the gravest danger they face is falling asleep. We must stop this. Your other recruits are still at risk. We must find them. 
I fear we're already too late. Wilma disappeared along with another lad, Karen, a good boy. They were last seen together at the Blooming Rose. But I had no luck interrogating the, uh, young ladies there. I doubt they know anything of magic or demons. I don't trust them. Don't be fooled by a pretty face. They fear we would shut them down if they admit to serving our recruits. Perhaps you could talk to them. Our recruits may be in grave danger to their bodies and souls. If you learn what manner of creature did this to Wilmot, please come tell me in the gallows. I will ensure you are rewarded. Okay then. We're off to investigate. Well, that's it. Let's leave the area. And go to the Blooming Rose, which is actually why I brought Varric and Isabella along. I brought Evelyn because she's a tank. And I need the tank. I shit you not, Ravani. It was this big. <laughs> what exactly? Would I lie about something so critical? I'm afraid to ask, but what are you two going on about? We're discussing knives, of course. Well, daggers, technically. I never remember the difference. <laughs> Why? What did you think we were talking about? You don't want an answer. <laughs> All right, let's talk with the whores. Place. The difference between a courtesan and a whore is, well, their shoes are nicer. I think your shoes are fine. <laughs> Look at you being funny. That might even get you a man someday. What's with the guards right here? Yeah, well, protection, obviously. Do whatever I want. You're not the boss of me. I've got your usual ready and waiting for you upstairs. Okay. I'm investigating this place. <laughs> yep. Low res textures all over the place. Oh, HP potion. Mhm. Mm that really doesn't sound to me like two people having sex. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> I won't be doing that. Neither will I. Because you're a guard cap. No real authority. Not like on a ship. Well, you would know about having a large number of men under you. You've been waiting to use that one. Did you practice? Shut up. <laughs> Owned, Eveline. Owned. No, not completely. She did make a fair point there. <laughs> do you need something, honey? You don't work here, do you? With the customers. You're no prize yourself, sweetheart. Is there something you want? A couple of Templar recruits went missing. They were last seen here. You'll have to be more specific. We do a lot of business with the Templars. Hmm. We have a lot of missing Templars. If we don't act quickly, we may only find corpses. Now, now, no need to get all dramatic on me. Let me look through the books. 
Wilmot, Karen. Here we go. Wilmot came in here a lot. You sure he had time to be a Templar? <laughs> okay. The both of them last saw Iduna, the exotic wonder from the east. The exotic wonder? That's quite the stage name. It sounds better than the tramp from Darktown. You should hear what some of the others are called. Uh, no. Is there anything else you can tell me? Honey, I could write volumes on the things I know. Unless you want Wilmud's favorite position, I think you have what you need. Okay. You didn't hear any of this from me. We clear? Yes, ma'am. I just called the whore ma'am, but okay. <laughs> Hello. Iduna, right? Do you remember entertaining a Templar named Wilmud a few weeks ago? Or Karen? Wilmud. Wilmud. That doesn't sound familiar. You're lying. Stop playing dumb. Answer my question. Oh, we like it rough, do we? Hmm. Questions are boring. Why don't we have some real fun? Hawk, go easy on this lovely creature. You should listen to your friend. We have to ask her about Karen. What's your problem? Yes, yes. But certainly there's no harm mixing a little business and pleasure. You've got one more chance to answer me before I make you. I'm just trying to make a living. No need to be cross. Who told you about little old me? I am asking the questions. Oh. It was Vivica. She showed me her books. That wasn't so hard, was it? So, Vivica sold me out, did she? That drab, pathetic little sewer rat. She will be dealt with. Just do one more thing for me. Draw your blade and bring it gently across your throat. Hmm. I will not obey you. What are you doing? Stop that. Stop that now. What? How did she do that? Pleading ancestors, I feel like a fool. Blood magic. It must be. Maybe we can find answers somewhere around here. And then a cold shower. Actually, I will reload and... Get Anders in the party, or Bethany, either one works, or Meryl! Hmm. Oh. The fuck? Great. No. No point to actually gather the party, is it? Okay. Where can I? Uh, character. Hmm. Ooh. Let me guess, I'll have to go through the entirety of Hightown again. Yeah. You know, Ravani, you promised me you'd tell me how your ship wrecked. I was drunk. I thought the reefs around the wounded coast were made of candy. Oh, come on. And a demon told me to do it. It bet me 60 sovereigns and a bottle of port. You're not the only one here who can bullshit, you know? Hmm. 
Okay, then. Hmm. Isabella, you never talk about the mage's plight. What's there to say? There's plenty to say. And you say enough for the lot of us, don't you think? So you're telling me you have no opinion on the matter? None whatsoever. That can't be true. No, I'm afraid I'm really this shallow. Right. D Wilmot. Wil you should listen to your... Yes, yes, but sir... Who told you? It was... Just do one more thing for me. Anders, make a stop. Let go of my friends. Done. How did you? Oh, shit. Spare me, Messer. What foul magic was that? Blood and desire in equal measure. An art I learned from elsewhere blood magic then yes monsieur please don't kill me you're going to answer all my questions and if there's even a hint of magic tirani put me here to send biddable templar recruits to the sanctuary three spear alley in the undercity i enchanted wilmot and Karen weeks ago but after they left these walls i know not what came of them please let me live it's not my fault. It was all Tarane's idea. Tell me about Tarane. She put me up to this. She said we can recreate the ancient Imperium. That mages can rule again, not serve. She says the Templars cannot hold against us if we stand up and fight. This base of yours. How many other mages are there? Any other defenses? People go in and out all the time. Sometimes a handful, sometimes more. There are traps. Magical traps. There's a hidden switch at the front. It turns them off. That, that's all I know. The Templars are coming for you. No more of your tricks. Next stop, the Sanctuary. And some answers. Yep. Isabella Rivalry. Anything else around here? Nope. So, the sanctuary. Is this a good party? I don't know. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna replace Isabella with... Meryl. Or Fenris. Probably Fenris. I'll think about it, actually. Hmm. We'll see. We shall see. Um, while I decide, I'm actually gonna pause the video right here. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Costine here, signing out.